Hi Libra, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. So we have, you don't mind staying single until you meet the one. You are a loyal soul who wants to give your all to the right lover. You don't have much interest in fleeting encounters. Stay open-minded. When you least expect it, they will come round. And then we also have here, your soft feminine essence is alluring. You ooze a simple yet elegant vibe that attracts like smooth honey. You are classy and your self-respect shows. Okay, so one thing I am picking up on here, because I'm noticing at the bottom, we have this here. It says, someone is running back to you because you just don't care anymore. You're living in the moment, carefree, single, and looking better than ever. Now that you've moved on, the past lover wants back in, the choice is yours. You could have gone off the radar here. So you may have detached from a specific person, or you've just kind of done your own thing for a while. But what I'm hearing is that there's almost like there's a situation here that is about to come full circle. And yes, it could be that there's a past person here, but I'm almost getting that it's your energy, your vibe, your essence that has really ascended or really changed. So I feel, you know, there's this like new level of appreciation I'm hearing that you have for yourself and possibly somebody has towards you. Um, but it's the way that you're portraying yourself. It's the way that you're acting, the way that you're just the way that you are right now. And yeah, for a lot of you, this is picking up on a person here who probably was attached to your energy or someone who you've been thinking about. If you're drawn to this reading, it's likely that you again have kind of moved forward. You've detached, you've moved on. Um, and you kind of have stepped into a different energy, a different vibe. But I am picking up that this person here is someone who is still either attached to your energy or they are seeing you in a different light. And I'm hearing smoke and mirrors. I'm hearing that you've really been able to tear down those smoke and mirrors, if that makes sense. You've been able to see things more clearly, or you will have an opportunity to see things more clearly. Um, let's see, Spirit, tell us a little bit more. What is the overall theme here going on? Yeah, so I'm also hearing Scorpio energy, and I'm hearing temptation. So there may be a temptation here. See, again, there's been definitely retreat. Um, taking time alone. So whether this has been a long time that you've taken time alone or a short amount of time, I'm getting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming up really strongly. Uh, maybe you or the person who you're connecting to doesn't have to be. But um, I'm also seeing a vision of the green heart chakra when I'm looking at this card. Again, I feel like there's this feeling of um, you, the viewer, having really opened your heart or really healed. Could be someone that you're connecting to, too. We'll see what comes up for them. But um, I do feel like you've really healed your heart. You've really been able to detach. And I'm hearing that any worries or actually I'm hearing that you've made somebody very stressed, I'm hearing, or you've been able to heal your own stress. It's kind of a combination of both. Um, but I did hear temptation, so I'm hearing when you least expect it, and that does say here too, when you least expect it, they will come around. Um, let's see, tell us a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting that there's somebody definitely in your energy who feels very, they're showing me a grasshopper actually, but they're showing me that there's a grasshopper kind of jumping forward and then I don't know how to explain it kind of like awkward there's an awkwardness here so there could be someone who feels kind of awkward to approach you or someone who feels that um yeah let's see so tell us a little bit more what is going on in this situation right now for whoever this love story is for taken time to process again you've taken time to process something and possibly someone that you're connecting to has taken time to process something um some of you actually have a new person around you or you have a new person entering your life and again i feel like there's two energies coming up here um someone could see that you've moved forward or they're about to see that you've moved forward 
and there's a wall that's built here. I'm being shown a wall that has been built. Someone feels like there's been a wall between the two of you, or you've created a wall here. Um, yes, <laughs> time apart. Some distance will help to bring clarity. And what I'm kind of getting is there's a sense of urgency. So there's a few different kind of messages I'm getting from different angles here. So I'm just going to say them all. But um, there's someone who I feel feels a sense of urgency here. They feel like, uh, especially if you if it hasn't been that long, if it's just been like a break you've taken from somebody, they almost feel like a sense of urgency to... I'm hearing they want to know if you're on the same level anymore. They could even be someone who comes towards you to test the waters, like... You know, is this person still open to me? Do we still have a connection? Have they moved on? Um, and I was getting third party energy, but I feel like it's more of your side actually. So either you already have a new love or you're about to have a new love or they just feel like you have a new love. Um, and Spirit's saying this is an open road for you. They're telling me that you have an open road. You very much have an open road ahead of you here um, for the viewer when it comes to your love life. And I do feel, uh, let's see. Some of you don't feel the same anymore about a past person or you will realize that maybe you don't feel the same. That could be for some of you. Let's see, what else here, please, for this message? There's been so many twists and turns. I'm seeing a maze. So many twists and turns between you and a specific person or just on your love journey in general. There's been so many twists and turns. But recently here, for the viewer, this is how you'll know if it's for you. I feel like you've been really spending a lot of time taking care of yourself. You've been really spending a lot of time loving yourself, a lot of time even on your appearance, I'm hearing, or just really being able to put yourself first. I'm hearing you don't know the magic that's within you, or maybe you didn't know that before. There's some type of like, you're actually calling something into you, into your life, very much so. You're calling something towards you, so we'll discover what that is, but we have denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth, and we have boundaries here. Because I'm hearing that you don't want to share. So this feels like this card that came out first. This is you. You've been somebody, whether you've been like this before in the past, or you've been you've become more like this now, you really just want somebody who's gonna be loyal to you. You want somebody who's not gonna be sharing or you know, whatever that means, that you feel like you have to share their time, their energy. Um, and again, I feel like you've I'm hearing been able to put the pieces together. So Let's get some tarot here and see what comes up, because I feel like some of you could have an opportunity to put the pieces together um, after this time apart from somebody, or you've already done so. You've already been putting the puzzle pieces together, and let's see. Tell us a little bit more, Spirit. What is the energy of this current love story, love situation? Yeah, somebody could approach you very hastily or maybe like you don't expect it and they come towards you. There could be someone who just is thinking about that or they are going to just show up randomly. Um, let's see, what else spirit for this message? Yeah, I'm being shown an island in the middle of nowhere. So again, there's a lot of time and distance. So whoever this is, yeah, definitely three of wands reversed. If you resonate with this message, you would likely be at a far distance from somebody or you've decided to just really take a long time away from maybe anybody. Um, you probably, you're definitely single. You've been single for a while even. Seven of cups reversed and It's almost like there's been a detaching from the confusion, detached with love to clearly see the truth. And that's just what's coming up for the overall message. So we will kind of look and see what this means and what the point is of this coming up. But I do feel like that's what's coming through. You could even have went to or moved away somewhere for some of you, or you moved away to probably not an island, but you've moved away somewhere where you just kind of are perceived right now as being someone who's sort of um, and I'm hearing that you could be a very sensitive person, very sensitive to energy. Again, I'm picking up Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, especially Cancer is coming up today. But um, you ha you're an old soul. You have a lot of like ancient knowledge within you. And I feel like that's also been something that you're 
people see that within you or this person from the past maybe maybe they didn't see it like they knew what it is but they just felt like there was something different about you and you've really been able to with the knight of pentacles here okay i'm also hearing swallow my pride uh king of wands knight of pentacles yeah for some let's see spirit tell, tell me a little bit more here what is the overall energy of this storyline right now Someone's been really healing and working on their childhood wounds. They've been working on healing from the past. I kind of feel like that could be someone attached to you as well. Could be you, of course, but um, temperance, yes. I'm also hearing here, this is for someone who uh, there was a third party interference or something came in between you and a person because temperance can also be time apart, you know, think to this can be taking time, patience to heal. Um, and for some of you, I'm getting that whatever third party was in the way or whatever stood in the way here, there is a solution to this here. There's a healing to this here. Um, so again, we'll kind of see what that means exactly. Could be that you do hear some type of closure or news, um, but I'm also getting that just on an energetic level. There was a time probably in the recent probably like in the last couple months or up to a year or so where somebody went down a path probably the person who is next partner here and they thought maybe that this was going to be something more like they thought that where they were going whether it's their job or career or something about a love connection that they were involved in they really thought that this was going to give them some type of satisfaction but i'm hearing that there's this Um, okay, I'm hearing you don't give me the time of day or you won't give me the time of day. And I wonder if it's this person saying that about you in their own mind, like maybe they feel because of your energy, because of this like energy you have about you right now, they may kind of feel like you won't give them the time of day. So again, there's a very distant, I'm picking up on probably if you're a feminine here, you're very distant right now. You're very, but in a good way, not in a bad way. You're just very distant. You've really retreated. You've really withdrawn. Um, and you've created this, actually, you've created a, what's the word for it? You've created a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of an open road i guess to bring me back to that open road to where let's say before there was this resistance or there was this fight for attention or something or you felt like you had to work really hard for this person's attention or just it felt like a lot of work what you've done here by healing and spending time alone is you've actually created a sort of like a vortex of energy that allows now what is meant for you to come towards you and for some everyone's going to be at different places there's nothing wrong with having a second chance with somebody if that's what you want for some of you this is creating an opportunity to have a second chance because you've been able to temper and balance your own energies okay and like i was saying here there may have been this like distress almost from the past where you felt that you had to it's like there was it wasn't the right time whatever happened here with this ex-partner was not the right time at the time um and now that there's this temperance here again you've sort of created a an opportunity for new energy to, to come in because you've softened your energy um a lot of you if you're a feminine too you've stepped into your divine feminine energy a lot and this has really been able to help you to attract who and what you want what else about this story please spirit Some of you were dealing with somebody who was um, involved in like a lot of different activities than you were. Like maybe they, uh, like at the time, again, you were at a different level. Kind of like when you, it depends on what the story is. If you met them a long time ago, if there's someone here that you just were on different wavelengths at the time. And if you try to make something work when you're at different vibrational like set points, it, it won't work. And that's what I'm getting here happened. 
and I'm hearing the song Breakfast at Tiffany's, so I can't think of the exact lyrics, but I know it's something about... Let me see. Let's actually use this deck here. What else, please, Spirit, about this story? What else about this? What is the... So what is the overall... So if this sounds like you, what is the main message here that you're trying to send about this? What's next like? Okay, this is interesting. Look at this. We have marriage and we have here wedding. Wow. For some of you, twin flame. I mean, I really do feel this won't be for all of you, obviously, and it's not to like paint a fantasy, but I really do feel like there's something that's moving into a strong union, um, which could be marriage or it could just be like an energetic marriage, if that makes sense. Because again, look at this here, this picture too, this seems like there's almost this wedding looking thing too, but it's like you're a loyal soul who wants to give your all to the right lover. And again, I think that this is you, the viewer, whoever it is that you want, it's up to you, but you've created an energy where you can receive this now. You can receive a balanced connection. You can receive, um, I'm hearing that things have moved beyond the veil. Things have moved beyond the illusions of the past. Things have moved beyond the trivial moments of the past. And it's able to now be more reciprocal. The water, they're drawing me to the water here again. Lots of water in this energy or in this reading. There's a feeling of equal give and take here with the water. Um, some of you very well could be moving into a sacred union with somebody. And I'm hearing that this will be um, someone who... When they do come towards you or when you do meet this person, you're going to know. It's going to be very... It's going to be very um, special, but it's going to be very well known, kind of like if that makes sense. Like you're going to understand that this is the person, or you'll know if it's someone that you already know that this is right this time. Like you're going to feel it. And I'm hearing that this is going to start maybe kind of slow, or it's going to start as a progressional thing. But I mean, that's what I'm seeing here. It definitely could be, let's see, what else, Spirit? Someone here that you're meeting, because again, I don't know, for some of you, I will look more and I will do an extended reading for this too, and we'll get some details for a past person and how they're feeling about you, because for some of you it is, but um, uh, I lost what I was going to say now. Apples to apples playfulness. Here's retreat. Again, the word retreat. Again, there's a new fresh energy opening to allow playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Uh, see, release your ex and retreat. I'm hearing the glory days. Um... It's like, again, I feel like with the world coming up right in the middle of the reading, there's been this really big cycle closure, which has almost allowed, like, I guess the glory days is what spirit used to come back into the picture. You know, so let's say you've been in a cycle, a down cycle for a while, and you felt like you couldn't get anywhere, or you felt like you and this specific person couldn't really move things forward. There's a feeling of kind of being able to recapture those moments or recapture that energy that you were in before. how will they know this is for them? How will they know this is for them?
any specific details, how will they know this is for them? Because you've tried something many times is what I'm hearing, or you've tried to, yeah, because I'm getting here, you've tried to either uh, make something work many times, or you've tried many different relationships and nothing worked. Or it's like, it was one-sided. How will they know this is for them? Leo, I'm hearing. It doesn't have to be just Leo, but I did hear that. Yeah, the same card. So you've been through several failed relationships, but they have only made you stronger. You are a resilient soul that deserves a beautiful relationship. Try to look at the bright side. The best is yet to come. So this is actually a really encouraging, very positive reading here for whoever this is for. Um, and I'm hearing that you've been sidelined before. You've been pushed to the side before. You've been sidelined. You've been made an option. Um, and... Definitely for some of you, this is someone who's going to return from the past, but I kind of get the sense that you are in a different energy. Uh, for some of you, you're not going to feel the same or you're going to be in a different energy. I am getting that for some. And as you complete that cycle that you've been really needing to complete for a while, this is when this new energy can come into your life. But I will look at this a little bit more and I want to see some details for this past person. Uh, and then we'll kind of look at what new things are coming in. But let's just get a few more cards here. Anything else that you need to know? Anything else, Spirit, about this reading, please, for the collective? I'm also seeing a cactus here, which can represent a very guarded of cold heart or afraid heart. And... Some of you are removing yourself from connections or from a specific person who was very cold, didn't really allow you to like enter their heart. King of Swords energy. You've invested a lot of time into this, okay? Some of you feel like you're not sure, should I let this person go? Because you feel like you've invested so much time, you've invested so much of your love maybe into this person. Could be an air sign, possibly Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm picking up on for some and you feel like you've really invested so much time and it's almost like you may be attached to the desire for it to work more than the actual connection itself but that's just for some of you but anything else please spirit about this reading signing off I'm hearing yeah someone's signing off it could be a literal thing because I'm being shown like some type of chat opening so maybe someone signed off on you or I don't know you signed off or you're gonna sign off on somebody um, any final messages to sort of summarize this spirit that we want to bring through for this reading We have protected by love. Your partner will feel protective of you, feeling an obligation to take care of you. Just be sure it's not possessiveness. Yeah, some of you have a person here who's going to be very, um, very, very certain about you or very possibly possessive. I don't know if it's a bad possessive, but they're going to be very certain about you. They're going to be very all in on you and again the reason for this is because your energy has changed so the lovers i mean really amazing cards coming up here wheel of fortune
I'm hearing spirits say, are you ready? Or someone saying that, are you ready? Something, someone here is very persistent. I'm hearing, are you ready? Do I have to spell it out for you? I don't know who's saying that. I don't know if that's like spirit being funny or if that's, what is that? A lot of you also are not, maybe you're not wanting someone to be like that. I mean, because there's a feeling of this woman here. When I'm looking at this woman, it's like, you don't want to be in someone's like beck and call. You don't want to be someone's prize. Like you, you, you want to be your own person. Eight of swords in reverse. So enough has happened now. Someone is very, what is that? I'm here, it's like enough has happened now for you to move forward or enough has happened now for this to, to, to occur. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Are you afraid of it? Some of you are going to be afraid of this when it comes in because you're going to wonder why does this suddenly change? Why do I suddenly have this person or why does, did I meet this new person so quickly or maybe not quickly, but why did I meet this new person? So I feel like you're healing from these abandonment wounds. Okay. So, but that's what I'm getting here. So definitely a very positive indication if you're looking for new love or if you're, you want, it's definitely there's a going to be an, like a positive movement here in your love life, okay? Um, hmm. But I will do an extended reading for this as well. So again, if you want to join Patreon, we do all the extendeds over there. Um, so if you want, you can join. But if not, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this could help somebody. Um, let me know if it, it sounds like your story. And best of luck with everything. Take care and lots of love.